What's going on everyone? It's time for another show review. So last night my younger brother and I went and checked out uh, the bands Beast in Black and Nightwish playing in Toronto at History. Um, so yeah, um, let's talk about it. So uh, Beast in Black was the opening band. They're from Greece. Uh, they have about three albums out and they're not bad. They're like a power metal band. And uh, yeah, they uh, one of their band members can get uh, make it to the show, but, uh, they, uh, put on the show anyways, and, uh, yeah, they're, they're a lot of fun, they, uh, they have a lot of catchy songs and stuff like that, the vocalist is really talented and stuff, because, uh, he could, like, he has such high vocal, a high of a vocal range, like, it sounds like a girl singing, but it's actually him and that, and, uh, yeah, and he's always full of energy, jumping around and, like, running around. Also, it's the first day of tour, so they're probably full of energy anyways. <laughs> so, yeah, but uh, they definitely go, and they put on a pretty good show, but really a lot of energy. Even the drummer was, like, jumping around and having a blast and stuff. He has an odd-looking drum kit, though. <laughs> like, the cymbals are so high up and stuff, but, yeah, um... Yeah, and then the bass player and the guitarist did a really good job. They have some really cool looking guitars. Like the bass player had this bass where it's a demon stirring a cauldron or a devil stirring a cauldron, which looked pretty cool. And then uh, the guitarist had like sort of like a dragon forces um, look of a, a bright fluorescent green guitar. And he had some pretty interesting uh, solos and everything like that. They were really well done. They definitely been practicing a lot. And this was my second time seeing them, and uh, yeah, they put on a really good show, so not gonna lie, they were pretty fun and entertaining. There's not much really to go uh, complain about besides, like, the little parts where, like, uh, you could tell, like, the other guitarist or other band member was supposed to do something at that point, at that part, but, uh, they, obviously they couldn't do it, so, uh, yeah, but other than that, it was a really good show. So I'm going to give Beast and Black's live performance from last night a 4.5 out of 5. It was really enjoyable. I really enjoyed it. And then Nightwish uh, came on. There's only the two bands. Now, they're uh, like a gothic progressive symphonic metal band from uh, Finland. And uh, yeah, so they came on and they played for like an hour and 45 minutes. A nice long set. Uh, they usually have a long set, very theatrical sort of sounding songs and things like that. And, uh, yeah, they played a lot of hits and everything. It was really good. The drummer was really good. The one they had on this tour was, uh, definitely, uh, had a lot of good, uh, experience and everything. And then, um, yeah, and then the keyboardist who writes, like, majority of the material, he, uh, He's crazy as always, and wild and stuff, and, uh, yeah, and then there's, um, another, then they have, like, another musician who has, who plays, like, um, all the wind instruments and everything, uh, yeah, he and does backing vocals and stuff, and so you definitely hear a lot of that throughout the song, songs and stuff like that, it's pretty, well, the whole... The whole band was just a good, tight-knit unit. You could tell they've been doing it for a while. They've been doing that since, like, 1996 or something. And they have, like, 10, 10 or 12 albums out or something like that. So, and all of them are very intricate and different. And the way they put together the set was and connected everything to make it move smoothly and stuff was really, really good. There wasn't really any flaws at all. But also, uh, the vocalist, Floyd John Johnson, uh, she, uh, she could like, do, like, crazy operatic style vocals and stuff really well. She's on, she's even, like, better than some of the older Nightwish singers and that. She was, uh, she's definitely, <laughs> uh, one of the better singers in this type of music than, uh, most. And, uh, yeah, that was really good, too. So, I don't really have any complaints for Nightwish, uh, well, playing and stuff, so... Um, yeah, so I wish I'm going to give them a 5 out of 5. They're really cool. This is my second time seeing them, too. But both bands I always saw in, like, a festival setting. So I saw them play for, like, 45 minutes to a, a half an hour. Or, like, Beast of Black still played for, like, a half an hour. But, uh, in a club, 
um, music concert theater venue <laughs> setting. Uh, it sounds totally different. And, um, yeah, it was more intimate. It's not like they didn't have all their theatrics and stuff like that. So, it was a lot more fun and enjoyable, I thought. So, yeah, overall, I'm going to give this show, um, basically a 5 out of 5. It was a lot of fun. Really enjoyable. It was better than I was expecting it to be. And, uh, yeah, hopefully my next one's going to be that, as good as that because, uh, that one's tonight. <laughs> yeah, it's the next day. It's... May 5th, and I'm going to, my brother and I are going to go check out Apocalyptica Laguna Coil at uh, Queen, the Queen Elizabeth Theater in uh, Toronto. So, yeah, double header. So, yeah, tune in tomorrow for the review of that one. Um, yeah, so, yeah, make sure you ring that bell. Tune in with that. I'm going to, I'll link all the bands down below if they sound like something you might be interested in. And, uh, yeah, but uh, if you have a chance, definitely go check out Nightwish and be some black in concert if you, uh, they come to your city. So, yeah, that's it for this one, though. So, this is a short little, uh, review of the show last night. So, yeah, but definitely check them out. I'll link them all down below. And also, make sure you check them my instagram and tiktok that's linked down below there's pictures and videos and stuff of the show and other shows and stuff down there so yeah make sure you check out those and uh yeah make sure you subscribe so we can so you can uh hear more show reviews and other reviews on other things and i guess i'll see you in the next one so um yeah which will probably be the tonight show review but yeah so until then rock on